"'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mechanical mouse. The stockings hung by the fireplace with care and hopes that baby Jesus would soon be there. The bolts and set screws were nestled all snug in their threads, while visions of winged creations danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprung from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I bolted like a flash, threw open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon, glistening off the new-fallen snow, gave the luster of shiny Meccano to objects below. When, what my wandering eyes should appear, but a model sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old spanner so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles and coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, O Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each metal hoof. As I drew in my hand and I was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in nickel from his head to his foot, and his clothes were textured with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had a recollection, and he looked like a dealer just opening his collection. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose red like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him bringing McConnell from his shelf. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and spun clockwise, turning with a jerk, and laying his fingers aside of his driver, gave a nod up the chimney and returned to his slider. He sprang to his sleigh, his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like a hue of mid-green thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.